Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shayla, if this is your first time here. In today's video, I actually collaborated with Bobbi Brown to bring you this fresh face, easy makeup look. We're also gonna be using a new foundation, which I'm really excited about. I actually was introduced to the full line and kind of really started playing with Bobbi Brown, like hardcore playing with the products and using them about six months ago. And honestly, like I've just, I've fallen in love with the quality. You guys know Moon Glow Highlight, okay? I may or may not have it on, um, is one of my favorite highlighters. So yeah, this is, this is the look. It's, it's like really, like I love, I'm loving this, you know? This is, this is like for me like an everyday look. This is a daytime to date night even look. This is your workplace look. I am loving it. So let's just get started. All right, I'm gonna start with the Golden Glow Illuminating Moisture Balm. This is super hydrating, okay? So whenever my skin is more dehydrated, like right now, <laughs> I can use it. It's a little bit too moisturizing for me because I have combination skin in the summer, but in the winter it's perfect and it has a little bit of like a glow to it, which, which I really like. Glow. And it smells good. I love how the Bobbi Brown skincare and like anything that's for the skin smells, it's like, I don't know, fresh. I actually just put a tiny bit more under my eyes because my under eyes are dry. Oh yeah, that looks good. Ah. All right, you guys, this is the exciting part. This is the new Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation and it has SPF 15. So this guy is gonna give you medium to full coverage. And I say medium to full coverage because you can always apply it lightly and get kind of like a really nice natural finish or you can build it to more of a full coverage. This is really hydrating, oil-free foundation. So it has like vitamin C, vitamin E, shea butter, all those good ingredients in it and it's oil absorbing. Boom. So this is great. Basically for my skin type. <laughs> this is great for all skin types, but especially if you have like combination or even oily skin and you really want something that's gonna help absorb the oil, this is gonna be for you. It comes in 30 shades. I was really excited when um, they let me try it out before it came out. So I've been wearing this foundation and I really like it. All of the Bobbi Brown foundations are super, I would say natural, like you're never gonna, like wear a Bobbi Brown foundation and feel like it's heavy or thick or just like too much. You know what I mean? See how nice that looks? This is like my perfect color. This is shade Warm Almond 6.5. In the other foundations, I wear, I, I it changes. It's like either 6.25 or 6.5, but this one is like, I would say a perfect match. It's crazy. See how you can still kind of see my skin through it? It doesn't look heavy at all. It just looks like, it looks like my skin with a little bit of like a, that like moisture balm kind of made it look super like hydrated and glowy. I could even wear this by itself without like anything else. Pretty, 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 pretty nice. I would say if you have super oily skin and you want it to be matte, use more of a mattifying primer. If you have like normal, even dry skin, you'll really like the moisture balm underneath it as a primer. Or you could go no primer. I always like putting primer, especially like when my skin's extremely dry or extremely oily. This looks nice. Next, I'm gonna apply my Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42. I'm actually gonna put this under my eye, all over my eye, and under my cheek. And remember my little trick, you guys, always bring in the concealer all the way to the inside of the nose here, and it'll naturally, well not naturally, but it'll contour the nose, see? I know I look crazy. But see how it like creates those dark lines right there? It's because you're bringing the concealer all the way in. That's why I like using a sponge. You could either use a sponge, which is LC, or you can use like any type of like beauty blender, as long as it's like an egg shape, you know? I'm gonna contour my face and my eyes. 
basically like right chaw with the Bobbi Brown stick foundation in number eight. I love using stick foundations to contour because you can get like nice precision. I'm blending out the contour kind of in circular motions just so it looks nice and blended. You could also use a sponge. I kind of go back and forth. Like I'll go through periods where I'm using a sponge to blend out my foundation, my contour, and then I'll switch to like a brush for a year. But there's like no wrong way, you know? I love how warm this color is. A lot of times I like to put a little bit of the con or the contour, I should say, in the crease here, just so it looks like a natural depth without putting shadow on. And you could either use this large kind of cream blending brush or you could use a fluffy crease brush. I'm just using this. Why not? See? Natural. You could even use your finger. So I feel like this technique is good if you're like, okay, I wanna highlight and contour and I wanna do everything, but it's like I don't have really have time to do eyeshadow. So it's like foundation, concealer all over, boom, boom, boom. You could even use your finger. That looks really, really good. It's crazy because I'm the type of person I always have to put powder on, but this foundation sets to kind of like a matte finish. So for those of you who aren't combination like me, you have normal to dry skin, you might even be able to wear this without a powder. I know a lot of you guys are, are I don't wear powder type of girl, so this, this is just setting really nicely. The past few times that I've been wearing the foundation, I've been putting powder on right away. Like I haven't even like really taken the time to look at it and watch it set and dry. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, wow, it's really nice and like just like a natural matte finish. I like it, it looks really good. All right, but I'm gonna put powder on because that's what I do. So this is the Bobbi Brown Golden Orange Sheer Press Powder. This is like one of my favorite setting powders because it does have that really kind of yellow undertone, Ooh. which is good for my skin. So I'm gonna set under my eyes and on top of my eye. Look at how good this looks. It just looks super natural and fresh. And I'm not gonna bake. I just haven't been baking lately, you guys. My skin, it's just like, I don't know. Sometimes if I bake, it looks too dry, especially under my eye. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. Pretty nice. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna fill in my brows with the Bobbi Brown Mahogany Brow Powder Duo, which you guys know I use this all the time. This is like my go-to brow powder. I like using powders because it just, it looks natural, you know? To get that fresh face look, I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Moon Glow, which is one of my favorite, favorite highlighters. And I'm basically gonna use this all over my face, my eyes, center of my eyes, my nose, my cheeks, my lip, everywhere. Everywhere. I'm gonna start with my fan brush and apply this on my cheeks. As little or as much as you want. I love this stuff. It's like the perfect like golden highlighter, I feel like. It's so pretty. I'm gonna put some on my nose. This is really what makes the skin look like fresh and dewy and just clean. And I'm also gonna put on the center of my lid all the way up to my brow bone. Almost like a little highlight down the center. You guys see that? See it, do you see it? Just right here, all the way up. See how it's like when you blink, it's almost like a highlight on the eye. I like it a lot. Fresh, so fresh and so clean, clean. <laughs> that's it for the eyes you guys can you believe that that's all I'm doing that's all I'm doing like who am I you know this is me in 2018 all right I'm lining my eyes with the L'Oreal super slim liquid eyeliner I like it because you can get like a nice thin line and like we, we want that 
natural look today. Anytime you put this highlight down the center, I feel like, well, and you want it to look kind of natural, I feel like you have to have a thin line. If it's too thick, it's just gonna take away from that really pretty highlight. And it's like you're not gonna have a fresh look, so. All right, I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Eye Opening Mascara. Boom, boom, boom. I wish my top lashes were just like my bottom lashes. Cause my bottom lashes are booming and the top ones are just like, like what happened, you know? And I am gonna put lashes on. Cause I always do. If I had a nine to five in the workplace and they're like minimal makeup, I would still wear lashes. I'm that person. And I would claim that I'm not. I'd be like, no, I don't have lashes on. Mm -hmm. All right, these are the Huda Beauty Samantha lashes, which are just wispy, more on the natural side. Mm, make me happy. I'm gonna apply apricot blush with my angled brush. It's like a tongue twist right there on my cheeks. There's something about pink or like peachy blush that really makes the face look super fresh, especially when your eyes and, well, our lips aren't gonna be neutral. Even if your lips are neutral, there's just something about like pink or peach that just really kind of brightens up the face. And I always start kind of on the outside of the cheek and go back and forth in a downward motion so my cheeks look snatched snatched one more time snatched this is a good one see that fresh, fresh. all right i'm gonna finish off the look with mac mahogany lip liner and lilac lipstick from bobby brown originally when i was thinking of doing this look i was like oh i want to do no lip liner but then i was like oh, part of me wants to but you can always do this lipstick or this look without a lip liner. It'll give like a more natural look. Anytime you have, you don't have lip liner, I feel like it just looks like your lips look a little bit more natural because it's almost like they're unfinished a little bit. Again, this is lilac. Really like this color. And this is from the Crushed Lip Collection. Hmm. Isn't this nice? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish off the look with the Mama Star Mac Times Patrick collab. And this kind of matches. It goes really, really well with the lipstick. Ooh, glossy. I know it looks like I don't have any hair, but look, there it is. It's there. Look at, uh, it's there. <laughs> Ooh, I just like really love this look. Thank you guys for watching my fresh, natural, everyday look. I am obsessed with this. I think it's a, okay, what I like the best is definitely the foundation, okay? And this highlight, the moon glow highlight on the center of my eyes is just like giving me all types of life. It looks just refreshing. Boom, there you have it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about this look in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and last but not least, strut and slay.